Welcome to CBSNews.com's Look at What's Hot on the Web. I'm Stephanie Condon. And I'm Leanne Caldwell. So Leanne, uh, we just finished uh, the Michigan primary. That was one of the biggest political events of the past week. And a lot of the online chatter was about Operation Hilarity, a uh, campaign to try and get Democrats to vote in the open primary for Republicans, specifically Rick Santorum. Mm -hmm. And the liberal blog Daily Coast started this campaign thinking that if they could prolong Santorum's presidential bid, it would draw out the uh, Republican primary as long as possible and in their minds make the Republicans look bad. Um, so uh, there's been some debate about whether this was successful in Michigan, but now it's moving to uh, three open primaries on Super Tuesday in uh, Tennessee, Vermont, and North Dakota. 53% of those Democrats who did vote in Michigan did vote for Rick Santorum. And, and the Romney campaign is saying that that is proof that Operation uh, Hilarity are, did work. Uh, and he's been hitting this really, really hard in the past couple days. He's not letting this go. Uh, On yeah, Fox I'm News really earlier this week, he said that uh, Rick Santorum is uh, siding with the Democrats, siding with President Obama. We do have... Uh, two participants of Operation Hilarity with us today to tell us if the campaign is getting as much bu a buzz among actual voters as it does online. Joining us now is Sean Beyer from Oak Ridge, Tennessee. He's an Iraq war vet who is planning to vote in the Republican primary, even though he's a Democrat. Hi, Sean. Thanks for joining us today. So I want to ask you, first of all, Tennessee is more conservative than Michigan. Do you think that Operation Hilarity will have the same impact that it had in Michigan? Um, yeah, what, while it is more conservative than Michigan, I, I think that I think it will have a big impact. Um, I hope it does for sure. I was looking at some polls, and in Tennessee, uh, Rick Santorum actually polls as well against President Obama in a head-to-head -head matchup as uh, Mitt Romney does. So it seems like he may be as competitive. If we're looking at a uh, Santorum presidency next year, are we going to be uh, looking at you? Uh, <laughs> Well, that, that that's not going to happen. Um, uh, the, basically, the the goal of Operation Hilarity is just to keep the uh, this circus rolling that's happening right now. Um, so it, it's not going to happen. And um, if Rick Santorum were to uh, become the Republican uh, candidate, um, America is you know he's not going to be voted for. I'm, I'm confident of that. Santorum uh, has been trying to appeal to uh, conservative Democrats uh, with a kind of populist economic message focusing on manufacturing. Do you think that has any appeal for any Democrats? I mean, to be honest with you, um, no, I, I don't think it does. Um, it, that's not the Republican agenda. It's, it's you know, that's not their concern. Um, it never has been. And um, I think that he's just trying to pander at this point, he's he's getting desperate and he wants the votes where he can get them. What about your uh, friends and colleagues that you know in Tennessee uh, who are Republican? Have they heard about Operation Hilarity and what do they think about uh, Democrats voting in the re Republican primary? Uh, a few have have heard of it and obviously they're not they're not thrilled about it. They think uh, you know that it's a game or, or something like that. But but really, what it is is we just. We want the the like I said before the circus to continue. Um, you know, once people see the the true uh, men behind these these uh, Republican faces, you know, once once they see what they're all about, I, I'm sure that um, I trust Americans to to vote for President Obama and, and uh, do a, so we can get the second go round. You learned about uh, Operation Hilarity from Facebook, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, left action. Um, I'm a. I like them on Facebook, and uh, I found out um, through daily costs uh, and through left action. So. All right. Uh, well, thanks very much for your time. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Joining us is Lisa Viviano, a 56-year-old uh, registered no nurse from Battle Creek, Michigan. Hi, Lisa. Hi. So, Lisa, you heard about Operation Hilarity from a uh, email from Daily Coast. So, what do you think? Do you think it worked? I think it did. Um, I, I feel the the primaries are a way to really educate voters in 
really what the campaign is about, what the candidates are really about. And because this is causing Santorum and Romney to sort of attack each other more, um, we're, we're finding a lot about them, not only uh, as candidates, but as people. Uh, and I think that's been a very, very educational thing. And um, I think that's what voters need most, is to really know who is asking for their vote, who is asking um, to be placed in the White House for the next four years. Well, like we mentioned, most of the Democrats who did vote in the Michigan primary did vote for Rick Santorum. Do you know of any Democrats who actually supported him as a candidate and were not participating in Operation Hilarity? No, I don't. Um, most of my friends are Democrats, and the kind of things that um, Mr. Santorum has been talking about, especially in the last few weeks, about contraception and the like, turning off everyone that I know. So for us to have voted for Mr. Santorum, um, it's sort of, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend sort of thing. Uh, if this is going to cause, you know, the two of them to have at it more and focus their money and their time on each other and not on President Obama, again, I think this is just showing us who they really are as people.